Example 2.5. In this example, we evaluate how the volume flow rate is related to the pressure drop in a pipe by the given equation, where k is a constant. Having the information provided, we need to determine the difference between pressure at point A and the pressure at point B. We need to find out the information based on the elevations and the values of gamma provided for all the different fluids. Our goal is to be able to get a pressure difference between A and B. So we are going to go around the manometer and evaluate the differences between the different points of pressure between the different points. So let's write the values for now, the ones that are equal to each other. Notice that P1 is equal to P2. So we're going to keep it in here. And then we know that P4 is equal to P5. And they are equal because they have the same elevation and also because the fluid within them is exactly the same. So now we're going to do the comparison between point A and point 2. Once again, because 2 and 1 are exactly the same. Since A is has a lower elevation, it is going to have a higher pressure. So we write PA is equal to P2 plus gamma, the fluid between them, which is gamma 1, H1. Now we see also that P2 is equal to P3, so we forgot to write it over here. And now we're going to do rel the relationship between P2 and P4. Once again, because P2 is lower in elevation, it's going to have a higher pressure, so we write P2 is equal to P plus gamma of the fluid between them, which is gamma 2, and the distance between them is H2. Now, we already know that P4 is the same as P5, so now we're doing the relationship between P4 and point B. B has a lower a pressure, a lower elevation, therefore the pressure is going to be higher, so we write PB is equal to P4 uh, plus gamma between them which is gamma 1 and the distance between them is going to be h2 plus h1 so we do the summation between h1 and h2 so now we have the three different evaluations for pressure so now what we need to do is uh, put them together so that we could get a and b basically we have to get rid of everything else meaning we have to get rid of b4 and b2 so in order to get rid of those uh, P2 and P4, for this case, we're going to do a little bit of algebra. We are going to substitute P2 into this equation. So we are going to have PA is going to be equal to P4 plus gamma 2 H2. So notice that this is equal to P2. And then we have gamma 1 H1. And now we need to get rid of P4. We're going to solve this equation for P4, so it's going to be P4 is going to be equal to PB minus gamma 1, sorry, H1 is H2, and then we're going to take this and substitute it into here. So notice that we get PA is equal, P4 is going to be PB minus gamma 1 H1 plus H2, this is all before, and we continue with gamma 2 H2 plus gamma 1 H1. And notice that we have removed all the different P's except PA and PB, and that's what we're looking for. We're, um, so we want to say PA minus PB, and then notice that we have negative. We're going to multiply this out, gamma 1 H1 minus gamma 1 h2 plus gamma 2 h2 plus gamma 1 h1. Notice that we have positive uh, h1, uh, gamma 1 h1 and negative 1, so this uh, gets removed. And then we have this as a function of h2, so we got pa minus pb is going to be h2 and this is positive uh, gamma 2 minus gamma 1. Or 
uh, if you're looking for, you could also say PV minus PA is going to be H2, and then the opposite, H1 gamma 1 minus gamma 2. And notice that in this problem, we are actually looking for PA minus PV, so this is the equation that we are going to use. The second part of the problem is asking us to evaluate what the actual value of the difference between PA minus PV is going to be. So we're just going to substitute the variables that are given. So PA minus PV is going to be equal to H2, which in this case is equal to 0.5 meters. And then we got gamma 2. Gamma 2 is given as 15.6 kilonewtons per cubic meter minus gamma 1. And gamma 1 is given as 9.8 kilonewtons per meter cube and the result of this is going to be 2.9 kilopascals. Please be very careful especially when you have kilo units to make sure that you keep track of them and cancel them whenever is necessary.